Has the initial ratio of carbon always been the same from birth till now? Question again, initial. Has the initial ratio of carbon always been the same from birth till now? No, the amount of carbon-14, if you're talking about carbon-14, uh, if you're talking about just carbon, I don't think God's created anything new. The Bible says he finished his creation on day six, so everything was done. Uh, the carbon and all the other elements, for that matter, are being you know, rearranged and recycled, but they're not being, nothing's being created. As far as carbon-14, that is being uh, uh, formed by nitrogen being bumped around by neutrons from cosmic radiation. But uh, carbon-14 ratio, uh, the ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 is still increasing. There's actually 37% more carbon-14 now. It, it's in, uh, I've got the stats here. I didn't have any more warning time on these questions. I could get answers up here on my screen. Uh, but uh, I covered that in video number seven. I can get the screen up there about carbon dating. Uh, carbon is forming faster than it's decaying. I've got uh, evidence right here. Let's see. Plants are always breathing in C14, and the assumption is that carbon-14 is, is already stable in the atmosphere, and therefore we can uh, carbon date things. It's been known for a long time that carbon-14 is not stable. Radiocarbon is still forming 28 to 37 percent faster than it's decaying, which means you cannot carbon date anything. You would have to know when it lived to figure out how much carbon it's supposed to have so that you could figure out when it lived. You'd have to already know what you're looking for. There has never been an example where carbon has given a correct date. It always gives wild dates. There's a good book called The Rate Project about that. Uh, when they first invented carbon dating, the lower leg of a mammoth is uh, 15,000 years old, but the skin's 21,000 years old. Same animal. It doesn't get any better. Now here's a living mollusk, 2,300 years old. It's still alive, okay? It, it, it's a useless, uh, useless uh, tool, I think, for science to prove the age of anything. Mr. Callahan, two minutes. If that were true, then that would be the scientific scientific consensus, just as the consensus is that UFOs aren't real. Um, it's not the consensus, and again, you can go over this many points about that on list of creationist arguments. Again, you can go to the links page on my website. And as far as radio, um, radiometric dating, it's been a fantastic tool to date the Earth and fossils, and it's a very powerful argument for evolution and the age of the universe, just as the fossil record is. And again, I remind you of my trilobite, and go to the Natural U Museum of History and the La Brea Tar Pits. By the way, th this is a trilobite's not a tribble. This is a tribble for all you uh, Star Trek fans. Um, but the uh, radiometric time scale, this is another link on my page, and it discusses the radiometric time scale. And this is by the United States. Uh, geological survey. So are we going to think that the uh, United States Geological Survey is pulling a hoax on us? No, it's what the science says. You study the science carefully. You can look at you know, some of the equations and um, the arguments and the various types of dating, including carbon-14. And yes, there are things that limit the age and our knowledge, and there are things that might come into play that might corrupt the data, but science carefully examines that. And there's competition among scientists. If somebody published a paper that was obviously in error, a scientist would examine that and say, well, you've, you've made a mistake here because the data was corrupted by this certain um, factor. And no, the, the science is objective. That's what the science says. Carbon-14, along with the other radiometric time scales, are very powerful. And uh, along with the tremendous fossil record and all areas of science, genetics and we see uh, evolution. As far as dog evolution, it's a question of semantics. We have, you know, um, phylums, genus, family, etc. You can see the Thank many you. Time is up.